Hi, this is Bob with Top Choice Real Estate, bringing the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Today we're inside uh, Piatt Builders, the Berkeley model at the Colonnade Development in McCordsville, Indiana. Uh, you step inside and uh, right across is your entryway to the garage. They've got a nice uh, setup here for book bags and mittens and, and uh, boots and that type of thing. But what's really kind of neat is if you turn right from the entryway, you've got a big hall closet and then you have this really good size room that could be, oh, um, it could be an office, it could be a bedroom suite. It could be some other kind of multi-purpose room, heck, a second family room for that matter. But uh, it really gives you a lot of flex space and is really nice. You really have to love all the natural light. The windows are really large and great. And right here you have a half bath, which they'll also do as a three quarter, I mean, as a full bath if you would like. Okay, let's go see what the rest of the house looks like. Okay, coming into the main living area. Nice open concept. Standing here at the uh, kitchen counter or a kitchen island, you have a great view of the gathering room. They've got it set up to seat uh, oh, seven, let's say, and there's plenty of room for that. Nice fireplace, good space for the uh, TV. You've got great natural light. You have some room for some prints. And then over here to the left, is the dining area. They've got what amounts to a, they've got six chairs, but that's easily an eight top. There's plenty of room there. Uh, there is not a lot of room for anything else in terms of a uh, hutch or buffet table, but that's largely because, boy, that picture window is just large and beautiful. And then right out uh, the door here, you've got a uh, covered patio, which is nice and nice uh, lake view too, okay? Back to the kitchen. Overhang on the counter is real nice. Granite countertops. This has three stools under it. Architectural cabinets. They're soft clothes. Nice tile work. You have uh, stainless steel appliances. Got a uh, decent sized step-in pantry here. Gas cooktop, everybody loves that. Um, stainless steel hood. Got the microwave and the convection oven. And you've got this nice big island with cabinetry underneath. Nice room. Okay, let's go upstairs and uh, see what the uh, rest of the house looks like. Carpeted stairs cuts down on the noise. We'll turn right here. You've got a uh, linen closet. Your mechanicals are in there. Fairly small loft, but you could use it for an office or kids play area. Um, you can put a TV here with a chair or two. We've got two bedrooms here, not monsters, but sufficient. This one's a little bigger. Nice windows. It's got two closets, plenty of room in that one. They got a hall bath here with double vanity and then down the hall around the corner here we're gonna have a laundry room and then we're into the master it does have a tray ceiling and a nice feel to it with all these big windows Good room in here. I mean, you've got uh, two nightstands, a chest of drawers, and there's room here for another chest, room for a wing chair, something at the foot of the bed. And then we're into the uh, master bath. So we have linen closet, commode, 
Pretty good size walk-in closet. Natural light, so you can see what your clothes are gonna look like when you wear them outside. Got the double vanity. You do have a place to put a chair so you can have a makeup counter there. That's nice. Another linen closet. And a nicely tiled large shower with seat. So all in all, nice master bath and great ensuite. One thing people like about Pyatt is that they are a local builder. They've been in business about 15 years. Uh, the owners grew up in the area and have been uh, on their own here for the last 15 years doing a nice job carving out a name for themselves in the community. Take one more look at this main gathering area. After all, this is where one would live for the most part in this house. Very comfy. Nicely done. Okay, uh, let's go take a look at a couple quick move-ins. Okay, I'm standing in front of the Soho model. Um, this one's uh, four bedrooms and uh, three full baths. Um, but we're gonna run inside and take a look at this because it is so windy out that I'm not sure you'll hear any of my spiel here, okay? Let's go take a look. Okay, we step inside the entryway. You've got uh, kind of a long hallway here. Right to your right is a full bath. And uh, you got your coat closet here. And then you have a bedroom or what could be an office. Um, and so with the bathroom right there, it'd make a great uh, guest bedroom as well. Um, in fact, it has a door that takes you right into the bathroom. That's nice with guests so that they don't have to uh, walk out into the hallway, that type of thing. Okay, we come down the hall. You've got storage to the right here under the stairs. You've got your entryway to the garage, two cars. And that brings you right here, you're fairly close to your kitchen. Okay, so you're standing here at your kitchen island. You've got uh, both nice windows, lots of natural light, but you also have good space for your TV and for prints and photos and that type of thing. To your right over here is your dining area. It's good size. Put a pretty good size table in there. And then right off of it is your covered patio. Great for grilling. You can bring your uh, food right in here to the dining room table or to the kitchen island. The island's got a good overhang. It has three stools on it. You've got quartz or granite countertops. Uh, let's see, soft closed cabinets. You've got stainless steel appliances, dishwasher, electric range oven. Microwave, your refrigerator will go there. You've got tile backsplash and a good size pantry. Okay, let's see what else we have on this house. Going upstairs, they're carpeted, they're fairly wide, I like that. So they're quiet and uh, you've got some elbow room. The uh, window at the top of the stairs is nice touch you get to the top of the stairs here and uh, we've got the loft again could be multi-purpose could be office kids school desk kids playroom you can change it as your family uh, goes through different cycles the end of the hall we've got two bedrooms first one Again, good natural light. Small walk-in. Just across the way. Yeah, pretty darn similar. Closet light, yeah, it's about the same. Okay. Turn the corner here. Got a uh, full bath they share, tiled floor, hall linen closet. 
washer and dryer hookups, room to put uh, oh, a chest, a cabinet or something under that window. And then we're into uh, the master suite. Lots of light like that. This is pretty decent size. Plenty of room for king size bed, double nightstands, chest of drawers, maybe a window seat, chair. Yeah, there's plenty of room in here. Check out the master bath. Private commode. Linen closet, walk-in closet, and a linen closet. Okay, you've got the double vanity, and you got a tiled shower with a seat, which is nice. You get a tile floor, pretty good size, nicely done. Nice master ensuite. Okay, on these quick move in homes, um, if they close by April 30th, you get yourself a 4.99% fixed rate mortgage for 30 years. And that's a true fixed rate. It's not uh, a teaser rate or anything like that. Hey, see they even got it advertised. Cool. Okay, this uh, Soho model with uh, Oh, what do we have here? Um, possible four bedrooms, the gathering room, the loft, uh, deluxe kitchen, and the ticket on this one is $439.9. If you'd like to see this or any of their other uh, quick move in homes or take a look at their model, just give me a quick call or text. Okay, I'm standing in front of 5775 Arcade. This is another quick move in that you don't have to wait nine months or six months or whatever for a home to be built. This one's ready to go and you get that great 4.99 rate. This one's got 2,049 square feet. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're inside the Sonoma. It's got a nice wide entryway hall. And right to the right, you have a office or den. It's nice that it's got the uh, French doors on it. A lot of good natural light in here. Be a nice place to work. It's a really good size. Heck, you put two desks in here if you could uh, wanted to do that. You gotta love the nine foot ceilings throughout this uh, first floor. Really makes the house live larger. This is only 2,049 square feet. Right uh, on down the hall here, you have Big coat closet and a powder room. Continue on, you have uh, storage under the stairs and you have your entryway to the garage. You could put a seat here with uh, for book bags and mittens and boots. That would work easy enough. But you get a nice feel with this uh, open concept here. You stand in here at the uh, kitchen island Good size living room, fireplace, TV over. Not a ton of space here to hang photos and stuff, but uh, there is some. Dining room or dining area. Um, you could put the right six top in there. Probably not a lot more, uh, but great views with the windows. Decent sized patio with uh, and it's covered. And then you have your kitchen. Nice overhang on the uh, island, so you three stools. Quartz countertops, subway tile. Well, not quite totally soft close. Okay, stainless steel appliances. You have microwave, electric range, dishwasher. Your refrigerator will go over there. Check that out again. Well, that one's soft. And that one's soft. So it must just be a door that needs adjusted. Okay, you have a true walk-in pantry. That's nice. 
And there they are with that 4.99% rate again. 30 year fixed. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what it looks like. Carpeted stairway, nice and quiet. Window with the break here, which adds a lot of light, which is nice. Go to the left down the hall here. Secondary bedroom. Large enough, not generous, but large enough. Good size closet. Next door, we have another one. Similar. And we'll go on down the hallway here. Straight ahead, you have your uh, shared bathroom, single vanity. Your washer and dryer hookups. Behind that door is your uh, uh, furnace and water heater. You could put uh, a counter right here to help you with your laundry. We've probably got a linen closet here. And then we're into the master. Great windows. Good space in here. Um, easy to put a king with a couple nightstands, a couple chest of drawers, chair. Nice space. Master bath. Okay, we have double vanities. We have that uh, makeup counter situation, which I think is a nice feature that they've added. Private commode room. Linen closet. Master bedroom walk-in closet. Remember, this is a 2,000 square foot house now. And here you go with the uh, tiled uh, shower. Really nice size, generous in fact, good seat. So nice, uh, nice master bath. And for that matter, nice master ensuite. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Okay, let's take one more look at this main gathering area. Okay, this 2,049 square foot two-story with three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and all the features and benefits. The ticket on this is 438,990, and it does come with that 4.99% uh, uh, fixed rate mortgage if you close by April 30th. If I can be of service, please give me a call. Okay, I'm in front of 2741 Arcade. Uh, this is the Berkeley model, similar to or the same uh, design as the original model home that we walked through. This one's got 2,369 square feet. It is for sale. This one is ready to go. The ticket on it is 462,990. I think you really have to love that uh, front exterior here with the uh, shingle look and the hardy plank and the color scheme they've used. Um, hey, if you'd like to see any of these, uh, give me a quick call or text. Normally I'd get out and walk these lots for you. Uh, today it's about uh, blowing about 20, 25 miles an hour and I don't think you'd hear a word I had to say. Now, hey, one of the things about these lots is that you can build the suit. You get what you want. You get to pick the floor plan, the options on what you want in the floor plan, like a half bath or a full, that type of thing. And uh, you get to pick all your colors and your flooring and all your selections, which really makes it feel like Hey, it's yours. It's a nice custom home. Uh, the build time right now is five months, which gives you plenty of time to get ready for selling your current house. Then when the time is right, we can get it sold for you for the best price in the quickest time and with the least hassle. Now, if you're undecided about whether you need to buy or sell first, uh, this isn't my first rodeo. I'd be glad to uh, sit down and talk the pros and cons out with you, and then you can be the judge for your own self. And by the way, we offer a free room-by-room -room analysis. There's no cost or obligation, and I guarantee you I can make you money and I can save you money. 
My staff and I have prepared a short film about this. It highlights 13 key points you'll want to pay attention to because you'll be able to sell your home for the most money. Plus, I'll share secrets of how I've sold my last five houses in a grand total of 30 days. Now, there's four lots left in this phase one and many more to come in phase two and three. And phase three is gonna have much larger lots if that's what uh, your preference is. And maybe you've heard, Zillow just named Indianapolis the fourth hottest housing market in the country. Now, good lots are like good houses. They can sell fast. So if you wanna look, call or text me. Let's get you registered. And hey, that holds true even on weekends. Accordsville, just northeast of Indianapolis. It's near the shores of Geist Reservoir, which is the state's second largest reservoir. It sports 8,600 residents, it's 10 minutes from the interstate, and it's a 25 minute drive to downtown Indianapolis. The household income is on average 96,000, and unemployment is below the national average. Children attend either the Mount Vernon school systems or Hamilton Southeastern, both of which are rated A plus by the state. The average home is valued at 368,000. And one of the favorite homes I helped clients buy was this classic four bedroom beauty set on the back of a cul-de-sac. It had the cleanest inspection report of any property I've ever been involved with. Besides its Geist location and the boost property values get from that fact, being a next door neighbor to the much larger city of Fishers gives it all kinds of opportunities for food, fun, shopping, and jobs. So if you're considering moving to the greater Indianapolis area, you'll be sure to want to pick up one of our relocation guides. It's free, there's no obligation or cost. And uh, hey, my staff and I have prepared the ultimate uh, relocation guide. You can pick up your copy in the comment section below. Coming up, I'm going to share some of the top parks and recreational activities that are available, practically in your own backyard. Fishers has done a really bang up job with its parks and rec department. They've got 25 parks, over 600 acres, 61 sports fields. You can rent a pavilion or an event facility. There's two sledding hills, three fishing ponds, and four creeks to stop around in. And if you have any energy left, hey, there's 131 miles of trails that you can walk and hike. Hey, or you can head on over to the Geist Waterfront Park. You can rent a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard or head out on the lake. Geist Reservoir has a full-service marina, the Geist Marina, or you can head over to the public launch ramp. But get there early, because it gets busy. The reservoir itself has 1,890 surface acres. It's the second largest in the state. You can tube, you can ski, you can swim, hey, or you can just chill. There's a lot of that going on. The bass fishing's pretty good. They have tournaments all summer long. Or hey, you can putz around and do, you know, the multi-million dollar home tour. There are other options. You can become a member at the Indianapolis Yacht Club. And no, you don't have to own a yacht. Lynn and I got married there. It was a great time. One of our favorite things to do is to boat up to restaurants. Be sure to check out Woofies. Check out these music and entertainment options. You won't believe all the shows you can take in. I'm sitting outside the, what will be the new Fishers Event Center. This is slated to open in December of 2024. It is a massive project. It's uh, $170 million and it will anchor a $550 million project that oh, will encompass this entire area with shops and restaurants and other fun things to do. This will be home to the Indy Fuel, which is a minor league hockey team uh, of the Chicago Blackhawks. And it'll, they'll also host other sporting events uh, including the uh, Fisher's Freight, which will be an indoor football league team that will open, I believe, in 2025. Um, it will also host uh, music and comedy and theater and seat anywhere from 6,500 to 8,500 people. And this is all within walking distance of the yard. Yeah, Nickel Plate Amphitheater in Fisher's, Indiana. This uh, facility seats 6,000 people, lawn-style seating. They have a full slate of different kinds of music throughout the summertime and fall, uh, something for everybody. One of the nice things is you can eat at one of the local uh, restaurants, come watch the show, enjoy it, and then go finish the night off at a local pub. Hey, this is a ticket you might want to score. Okay, our music tour continues. We're at Connor Prairie, which is a large regional uh, tourist attraction. It is open year-round. They have a variety of activities, uh, including hot air balloons and uh, oh, the 
what is this, uh, 150 or 200, 200 year old uh, working farm. There's a lot that goes on here. Uh, unfortunately, it's February and we're not going to get to see a whole lot of it. But so in the summertime, they have what's called Symphony on the Prairie. And the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra puts on uh, 12 concerts throughout the summertime. And all that area back there seats 8,500 people. Um, in 2023, they featured the music of Harry Potter, uh, the Star Spangled Fourth of July. They had tributes to uh, Marshall Tucker, the Fab Four, uh, Journey, Billy Joel, Elton John. Uh, uh, they did a, a Raiders of the Lost Ark um, theme. They just have a lot of fun. And when you come out here, what you do is you uh, you bring your blanket and your maybe your lawn chairs and a picnic basket with uh, dinner or you know some snacks to eat on and your favorite uh, beverage and hey it's a good time it really is i know people that have like tickets for the whole season all 12 nights i usually make it out once maybe twice at the most but uh, hey i have a busy summer so but hey it is a good time okay let's uh, finish our music tour with uh, the cream de la cream uh, let's go look at ruoff music center this is ruoff music center now it's february and things are buttoned up really tight uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here but at any rate I'll flash you some photos you've got to you got to think about this this seats 25,000 people and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music all-star lineup you can get a season pass even and uh, ticket sales for this are just out of this world in fact in 2018 Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles. You can tailgate, you can walk right in. And then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early. You can stay till the very end. You catch the encore, you walk out. It's five minutes to get out of the parking lot. And you're another what two three five minutes home hey it's a great time we're going to stop into two of the area's top golf courses and then check out top golf which is always a great time even if you're not a golfer hey let's talk golf fishers has been ranked by one golf magazine or another as the number two most underrated golf community in the entire united states so i asked uh, my stepson Sevy and one of his former college teammates which were the best golf courses in fishers and they both independently came up with the same two names river glen and ironwood we're going to take a tour of both of them uh, in just a second here it's a uh, breezy day in february and uh, while it's pretty comfortable the course is closed because it's wet right now and they're trying to get it into shape but uh, this course is really pretty they call it uh, nature's course it sits along the white river and um, it is a really delightful course to play i'm gonna walk around here and see what we can see got 18 holes here plus a driving range they have uh, men's women's and junior leagues they also have a very nice large pool and pool memberships uh, they also have a lot of event space here. They do banquets. In fact, uh, years ago when I run a mortgage company, we used to do our uh, celebration uh, breakfast meetings here. Very nice. Uh, there's three memberships. There's a regular, a junior, and a family fun, which includes the pool. But just standing here, you can really see just how pretty this course is. Nice big deck up there. Just Look out over all of this. Really beautiful. River Glen Country Club. Okay, I'm at Ironwood Golf Club in uh, Fishers, Indiana. And it is the end of February. And look at that parking lot. It is full of golfers out playing. How cool. They've got a driving range. Nice. Lots of woods, water. And then over here, uh, they've got a 27-hole course. Wines all over the place, very pretty, good course to play on, well maintained. They uh, have a variety of leagues, uh, a full junior program with leagues, camps uh, for kids all the way from five and up. They've got uh, the driving range and lessons, and they have memberships for uh, singles, family, junior, senior, and young professionals, so take your pick. 
And then up there at the clubhouse, they also have some banquet facilities. This is uh, a course that if you move to Fishers, Indiana, you just might want to play. While we're talking golf, let's talk top golf. Uh, this is a Tuesday afternoon in February, and the parking lot still has a good number of cars, but this will fill up and uh, be crazy about half the time. Inside, they've got a hundred climate controlled bays. And this is more like going bowling than it is playing golf. I mean, you don't have to have your own clubs. It's like uh, when you go to the bowling alley and yeah, there's some people that walk in with all the official gear and they've got their own ball and bag and all that and shoes. But, uh, you know, the rest of us go in there, pick a ball out, stumble to the uh, lane and uh, throw it down there. Well, here at Top Golf. Um, it's kind of the same. You don't have to have your own clubs. Uh, there's no cost to rent them. Um, they have all sorts of events and you can see the bays here from the outside and then uh, out there into a hitting area. The uh, balls are uh, high tech and they score for you. They do all kinds of events and games. And uh, one of the neat things is there's like a bar and a restaurant. There's 200 TV scattered throughout. And uh, there's even uh, fire pits up on top of the uh, rooftop terrace. So this is great for uh, old birthday parties and uh, other kinds of get togethers. Uh, companies uh, do outings here. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And you know, you get to hit a bucket of balls and if you don't want to hit the whole bucket, somebody else will hit yours and uh, you can sit down and drink. Hey, it's a good time one way or another. Join me as we tour amazing shopping destinations plus the fabulous foodie scene. I'll share a couple of my faves so you can add them to your must try list. Get through here, it's got a, just a really wide variety of shops and really good restaurants and in the areas surrounding uh, as well. So tons and tons of uh, retail shops and uh, food places and what have you. You've got uh, livery here, which is, oh, I'd call upscale Mexican. It's a Cunningham property and all of their restaurants are great. You've got Ford's Garage, which has uh, oh, really good burgers. And it's kind of interesting, fun place, the, the way some of their marketing and, and just little things like uh, napkins and, oh, different things that they do inside that really are kind of interesting make it kind of fun you have a total wine for all your uh, beer and wine needs if you can't find it there I'm not sure you can find it anywhere over here you got DSW and Ben's Warehouse and oh, just all sorts of different places. I'm gonna take a ride down this little street. Very walkable. You got an old navy here. You got Lita Express, K Jewelers, Victoria's Secret, Soma. Fun place to shop. More shopping than I can do. Through 21, finish line. American Eagle over here. Five guys. Yats. The Three Dog Bakery. My wife spends too much money there. Up on the corner here we have uh, pies and pints. Pretty good pizza, real good salads. Over here is Stone Creek, another Cunningham property, one of my more favorite restaurants. And right in front of us is Dick's Sporting Goods. So just all kinds of uh, opportunity here to satisfy your retail and dining pleasure. Got a big movie theater to go along with it.
We're getting ready to head into the yard and I wanted to stop just on the outskirts here. This is Portillo's. And uh, I'm not a big fast food guy, but this is a place I make exceptions for. When I was in high school uh, in Chicagoland, these were little hot dog carts on the corner and we would go there at the end of the night and get a Chicago dog or an Italian sa uh, sausage sandwich or their big beef. And uh, boy, I think they're the best in the world. I like my uh, big beef with sweet peppers and I like it dipped. Try it. We're coming into the yard, which is a recent development, maybe in the last five years. Uh, lots of restaurants, uh, other shops as well. Uh, this is the Hamilton uh, County Tavern and Kitchen. It is a Hughes Culinary property. They are fabulous, all of them. Make a little right here on the cobblestone street. You've got uh, some upscale apartments up above, some different uh, types of shops like uh, Oh, uh, Hot Sauna and Athletic Annex. Over here you have Rise, which is an excellent uh, breakfast place. You have Kincaid's Meat Market, which uh, goes back for many, many decades. Some salons. You've got a winery. You've got Slapfish. You've got a Mexican cantina here on the corner. And right here you have one of my very favorites, which is San Giovese. It's one of the better Italian places around. They have good lasagna. They have maybe the best chicken parm in the entire city. Uh, over here you have Sun King Brewery. Uh, everybody loves their uh, cream ale. You've got the Test Kitchen. And then over here we have the Havana Cigar Lounge, if you're into that. And then the 1933 Lounge and the 101 Beer Pub. And there's a few others too. Um, the 1933 Lounge is interesting. It's another Hughes culinary uh, property. And you can notice up there on the sign it says 1933 Lounge by St. Elmo. Well, St. Elmo is uh, the most famous steakhouse in the city. It opened in 1902. People from all over the country uh, eat there when they're in town. All the, you find all the celebrities and sportscasters and all of that. Um, it was named because uh, during the Prohibition years, there was a speakeasy above St. Elmo's. And uh, so this property right here, the 1933 Lounge, is modeled after the uh, a speakeasy. My wife and I ate there the other night for Valentine's Day. It was great. They have to die for shrimp cocktail, uh, prime steaks, and I had a slab of prime rib that was just fabulous. Um, hey, it's something you might want to check out. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. We're about to put the winter months behind us and enter the spring selling season. Currently, there are 427 homes in Hamilton County with four sale signs in the front yard. That's 12% fewer than a year ago, and that's causing prices to remain sticky. Basically, they're unchanged from a year ago with the median price being $420,000. But so right today, you can still find a house for sale for $230,000. Or hey, you can go to the other end of the spectrum and there's one on the market for over $8 million. Unlike Austin, San Francisco, and Boise, our market has slowed only slightly. A year ago, it took 10 days to sell a house, and now, oh my God, it takes 13 days. Price per square foot has increased just from $165 to $175, and that's basically due to the larger number of new construction homes being sold. Hey, not only is everything brand spanking new, but builders are offering 30-year fixed rate mortgages as low as 4.99%. You might wanna give me a call. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday we do a tour of new construction homes for sale. On Thursday we do a walkthrough of existing homes for sale in their surrounding neighborhoods. And on Saturday we give you a feel for what it's like to live in Indiana. So whether you're buying or selling, know that I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. Hey, if you found this video helpful, you'll love this next one. Watch it right now.